All right. I need to, uh... Focus in on the game a little bit here. That didn't work. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. It's been a couple of days since I last streamed Spire. It's been good. I've been uh, recharging a little bit. I think that... I think that, um, like, having weekends is probably a good idea for human beings, and maybe I should do that more. I think that choosing a rare card to obtain works well in this act. It's a little bit ambitious to get to this elite, and this elite's a little bit scary too. Although, if we can get that elite, hmm. But it's a scary elite with four hallway fights. No guarantee of a potion or anything. It's very possible that we die there. I think it's the best act if we can do it. So I guess one thing that could happen is we could get a good rare, at which point we can definitely go this way. I don't think enemies in your next three combats have one HP is that great for doing it. We're not going to trade boss relic. Don't think transforming a card's going to be better than choosing a rare card. I think that getting to choose a rare card is worth the 18 health over transforming a card. I think. I think. I wonder if I'm wrong. Ooh. Hey Max, hey Astral Fields. Akiri, hello. Patatel, hey, thanks for the 25 months. Hong Bomu Show to you too. Hey Remertastic, hey Poor People Entertainment. Wonder if I'm wrong. This one's not terrible at all. Defect takes some damage in the first three hallway fights. Transforming a card versus choosing a rare card to obtain. Defect rares. Let's look at what these are. See how often we're hitting. I think I've done this before, and my opinion was that, like, there were three really good ones or something, so you hit really hard, like, half the time. And how math works. Biased cog, core surge is fine. Electrodynamics, hyperbeams, like okay. It's mostly just electrodynamics, biased cog is the really good ones. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen, or seventeen rares. So there are like two really good ones, and then there are like three that are quite good. If we count Hyperbeam, Core Surge, and Seek. I don't know if we can really count Seek as quite good. We're talking about floor one value rather than like how good it's going to be in Act 3. So like Seek isn't that great when you don't have a good card to get with it anyway. And then there are 17 of them. What's our chance of getting Bias Cog or Electrodynamic specifically? It would be um, 15, choose. Three over 17, choose three, except twice. No, 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 that's right. We have about a third of a chance of hitting. 0 0.3309. Hmm. Angelo, hello. Hey, Salence. Hey, Time Warner Partner. Hey, maybe later. Eric Achilles, hello. He runs Starry. MJ Gags, hello. Why do I look at the map before looking at my blessings? Why not? You need both of the pieces of information to make your decision. You can do it either way. A turnip head. Bias cog makes your focus go negative eventually. How is it in your top two? Just the things that it does before makes your focus go negative. Arsha must die, polite OD. Hello, hello. Trafalgar, hello. Hmm. That's really not hitting that often. 
If I were to transform a card, I wonder like how many defect cards I think are better than Strike Plus right now, as of floor one. So if we look at only the non-starter cards, Ball Lightning, yes. Barrage, yes. Beam Cell, maybe. Charge Battery, yes. Claw, sort of. Cold Snap, yes. Compile Driver, yes. Cool Headed, maybe. Go for the eyes, yes. Most of these are better. Lots of decent damage commons. Stuff like Turbo and Aggregate is pretty bad right now. Blizzard's bad right now. I'd actually transform a card here. Transform a strike. And then if I do well off my transform, we can take the harder path, and if I do poorly, we can take the easier path. Not sure if that counts as well or not. Hey, weird Gus. It's going okay. The instruction is to go to our potion, cold snap. Okay, so we can go the more challenging way. Oh my gosh, there's just going to be five hallway fights, though. Oh my gosh. Because this was our question mark. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of hallway fights. Maybe we could get a like genetic algorithm or self-repair here. That would be a lot to ask. Regen potion. That's very good. Alright, I'm going for it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. All right. <laughs> Gun man. One man must slay the spire. This summer in cinemas near you. See Jorbs. In a spire to die for. Loop or darkness? Hey, Malena. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. I'm Bumushu to you as well. Hey, bottles of beer. This is either loop or darkness. It's allowed to be darkness. I'll take loop. With the claws. We're thinking that that's how we're going to deal damage, right? That's our big idea. See how true that is. Hey, Taskless. Hey, 4G. Gin Tonic thinks that 10 months. Much appreciated. Alright, so here's that hard hallway fight where we take all of our health and damage and then die to the elite, unfortunately. Unfortunately, our claws could not defeat Jawworm. Worm. 
This is exactly lethal. I should get business cards that say Jorbs, Professional Tower, Murderer, and Excavation. And business cards say Jorbs. Jorbs, 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 Jorbs. That's what my business card says. I like my business card. Obligatory NPC. Ipknahama. Hello. Felissa, thanks for the Twitch Prime. Zamal, thanks for the 10 months. Ongabomo show. You figured adventure. Hey, Johnny Bazooka. Ooh, static discharge or equilibrium? I have no idea. Or boot sequence. It's also fine. <laughs> I'm gonna try boot sequence. I think. Well, equilibrium's good with all for one. I don't have all for one, but obviously. It is currently a very valuable card, and taking a card which is okay anyway and has a lot of synergy with it would make some sense. I guess Boot Sequence is also a card with synergy with All for One. A okay, back a Ranger, three thirteen Shades of Turtle. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. I'll go show to you as well. Your last judgment. I'm sorry to hear that mundane one. Let's try out boot sequence. It's like an okay card. Yeah, nine pin. Agbomo show to you as well. Is it possible to lower the volume of the sub alert? Oh, actually, the game volume was too high right now as well. That should be better now. I just, um, I was recording something else yesterday and change the settings that I was recording with. Sorry about that. can play everything. I think putting the Frost Orb in front with a loot plus makes a lot of sense. Hopefully we draw a strike. If we do, we basically cannot take damage anymore. Perfect. Can take at most one per turn. Shorty thinks the 11 months. Agubomu show to you as well. You can lose with two claws, question mark. You certainly can. It's hard to believe, I know. I've even lost with three claws. I think I like Doom and Gloom. I don't have any AoE yet, and it is a slime boss act. The Dark Orb is very good against slime boss, so is the AoE. We are in interesting shape against Gremlin Knob here. The boot. It's not very good, is it? I think I need to take it at the moment, but definitely not very good at the moment. Yeah, this is not really the fight that we wanted. Might be okay, though.
The bunny. Yeah. Thanks for Twitch Prime. Agabomo show to you too. Come on, damage. What is this garbage? What is this garbage? Well, I mean, we have to take another claw, right? I don't know. Do we have to take another claw? I don't think we do have to take another claw. I think I'm going to. Oof. Missing out on Toxic Egg is a big oof. Toxic Egg is very good with uh, Claws as your damage source because you really want to draw lots of cards and Toxic Egg is often going to help you draw more cards. I cannot quite go Genetic Algorithm Defrag card remove so I have to pick one of those three that I am not buying. It's a tough choice. So do things the 11 months. Bomo show to you as well. Hey, Rusoro. I think it's 100 bits. This is 151. 249 for all of them. Yeah, I can't get them all. I don't really know which of these is the least valuable. It doesn't seem like it would be defrag. But between genetic algorithm and card remove, I'm not really sure. I think it's the 100 bits Quantec. <laughs> Reprogram and the bomb see you on YouTube. I can't even buy both of those. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I still couldn't buy all of those. <laughs> Getting rid of strikes just seems so important right now. Hello? Hello? Little cat is here meowing at me. I'm gonna rest now. I'm gonna want to rest by the end of the act, and sometimes question marks in Act 1 reward you a lot for giving up health. Holy shit. Hi. Uh. Wow. I think this is our potion. Gives us enough damage to kill one. It is a good potion, so it sucks a little bit to not have it anymore, but I think it was correct all the same. The boot! I guess we go after this one, actually. Damn it. Hold snaps okay. It's another hallway fight. The boot! We need to count whether the boot or Akabeko deals more damage in this run. Who's in charge of that? I probably want Happy Flower on zero so that it goes off on the slam turn from Slime Boss, so I probably just end the fight now. Hey, buffer's very useful in this fight. 
I might just upgrade that. <sighs> yeah, yeah. It's possible to not draw it before we get slammed. No. All right, cool. Now I can just win with a Dark Orb. You've never gone back to watch another YouTube George video, but today you found yourself wanting to watch the Searing Blow run again. That run has done well on YouTube. A lot of Searing Blow fans. There's no way the boot out damages Akabeko. I don't know. I wouldn't be so sure. You've watched the Searing Blow video three times. True Jorbs fans have watched the Searing Blow video at least ten times. It is a little bit spooky to just not block when you're getting attacked for 38. Uh, can we wait until next turn? I don't really want this on turn one because I have a boot sequence in my hand turn one, I think. I think we just kill now. Uh, fuck. Ah, fuck. Take all for one or electrodynamics? Ah, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. I think we take all for one. All right. I think the energy potion doesn't do very much, so even though the Sneko oil doesn't do very much either, I think the energy potion's actually worse than it at the moment. Runic Pyramid, all for one, Claws. Boot Sequence? Boot Sequence is very good with Runic Pyramid. Yeah, yeah, we can do this. Tudzy, thanks for the five months. I'll go boomo show to you as well. Bit of a frightening act to have a runic pyramid in at the moment. My potions aren't that bad. They're also not that good. Apparitions would be very, very nice. I'm not sure I can go this way without dying, though. Ooh, but I want to. So what's the difference here? This path has three, four, five, six question marks, one campfire, one elite, and a store toward the end. And this path has two, three, three question marks, an elite, two campfires, no store. Oh, we go this way, actually. So it's four question marks. We don't have the store. We don't have another two hallway fights. I think I go this way. And sometimes we just lose the run there. But I think it's worth it. Is there a spire chat about the new snake oil coming? I haven't made potion specific spire chats. There's just so much to talk about. They're so situational. It's a very difficult thing to make a 15 minute talk about, I think. What's the best win rate possible for Ascension 20 no heart runs? 
million, probably. I don't know. I don't even like play. <laughs> I don't even play the game that way, right? Like, I have no idea. down things too small for a video. Oh no, the potion question was way too big for a video. It wasn't too small. Harchwood, thanks very much for the 14 months. Agabomo show to you as well. I guess we end the fight now. Steam Barrier is very good here, probably better than Ball Lightning. I think it's very good here. Centennial Puzzle is quite useful. I took more damage than I wanted to in that first fight, for sure. I think Transforming Two Strikes is great. Yeah, I think Transforming Two Strikes is great. Give me some good ones. Creative AI Sweeping Beam. <laughs> sure. Ooh, Horncleat's a very good one. Okay, Horncleat, yeah, 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 yeah. Horncleat's very good here. There you go. Now we got something going. Still have the buffer stacks at the moment. Our defense is not too bad. It might not be fast enough for elite fights. Is my main concern at the moment. I think I'm okay with Happy Flower being on this number. Can I kill at the moment? I sure can. Capacitor seems like it would probably be good, so does go for the eyes. The capacitor is already upgraded. It's a little bit slow. I just hope I don't die. I just would really like to not die here. Don't know if that's possible, maybe. That would be nice, though. Book of Stabbing is not the best possible fight for us. I think also not the worst possible fight, though. I think Gremlin Leader was the best possible. And Book of Stabbing is, like, somewhere in the middle. potion in some way here. Feels like this is like maybe both of the potions. Because if I can block for two more, that's a pretty big deal. If 
Unfortunately, all for one is reshuffling. Should have played Defrag before dual cast. It's okay though. Looks like we win the fight at least. It's still dangerous. Holy shit. Get one more energy next turn. Yeah, that wins. Woo! Okay. Both of the potions got used, but we made it through the fight. We got a Molten Egg, there's a Cold Snap Plus or a Scrape Plus, or a Barrage Plus. These are all okay cards. I think that we're trying to deal damage with All for One though, right? All for One and Claws. I think that these cards sort of just get in the way of that at the moment. How's it going, Meow Meow the Meowmer? Scrape doesn't really help to deal damage with all for one, as you cannot draw all for one using scrape. Alright. More elite fights? Wow. Well, we have to buy orange pellets, I think. Don't really think there's a choice. All right. I am going to another store, like, straight away, awkwardly. I think my health is just barely good enough that I get to upgrade Defrag here. This is the 400 bits Chronotron! <laughs> you and your cat falling asleep together on the couch sounds so cozy. Do I just use all of my wing boot charges right now to get more campfires? I think I use one here and then one here and save one for next act in case the super elite's in a really awkward position. These are some good wing boots though, because I didn't have enough gold to warrant going to a store anyway. And we have some okay upgrades? Dual cast and zap are okay upgrades because cards costing zero is like very meaningfully better than cards costing one in this situation. Aries Luminor, thanks for the three months. I'll go Mushu to you as well. Still have three claws to upgrade. Yeah, we gotta make sure that the boot never does anything, right? Maybe it was wrong to take the boot. Oh, this is not an apparition event. Look, the boot is doing its best. <laughs> <laughs> the boots the boots trying its hardest. Cut it some slack, please.
Could I have used the boot for more damage there, maybe? Oh, no. I screw up. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Finally, the boot's moment to shine. Jacques Orblong, thanks very much for the sub. Agabomo showed you as well. Interesting that you were able to sub to the stream while I was here streaming publicly. Couldn't possibly have been me then, I guess. Chill's okay. Recursion could be an upgrade, though. I could take and upgrade recursion instead of dual cast. You could be pretty strong with the Dark Orb. You could just generally be pretty strong. Nero the Beast. Thanks for that two months. I'm show to you as well. Could Madness be good here? I mean, it would be difficult for it to be good here. I don't know. Chill is a very good card and doesn't require upgrading. Recursion's an okay card, but it does require upgrading. I could rest at the next campfire and then try to have something better to upgrade here. Because I don't really want to upgrade dual cast all that much. Often I'm going to hold dual cast so I can dual cast my dark orb and so it's not really going to be that valuable to be able to play it and get it back again. Eh. I mean it's still fine. Not like it's not valuable. It's just like not really required for the card to do something strong I guess. Hmm. Maybe that's the wrong way to think about it. I don't know. I'll take a chill. Norboro. Thanks for the sub. Longabomo show to you as well. What does controversial mood mean? I don't know. That's not what the title says though, so... The boot! Feeling some damage there. The boot again. Hey Norboro. Glad you've been enjoying the vids. 18. Tragic Hysteria, thanks the eight months. Hogbomo show to you as well. If you can hit for 100 guaranteed at the beginning of each fight, do you need to get defensive cards? Well, the heart has 800 hit points, which is more than 100. So maybe? Seems possible. Feels like a good time to have dual cast upgraded right now, for what it's worth. I guess it doesn't actually matter in any way. It would just like be cute. But yeah, we're gonna be fine anyway. What is the number one thing I would want to see in a Slay the Spire sequel? Uh, I don't know, the game's pretty good. I really don't know. 
This is the sort of game where if you add stuff, it actually comes at some cost. It's like asking... It's not quite exactly the same, but if you asked what I'd like to see in the sequel to chess, like, the idea that you could make a sequel to chess that would be better is just sort of not something you can assume. It's not necessarily true to begin with. Is there any novelty to doing a novelty type run? Probably. I tend to prefer just playing the game pretty normally though. I think that that's what viewers tend to enjoy more as well. Because if I do a novelty run, um, chances are good that people who are watching won't be interested in doing that novelty run, so all of a sudden they're watching something that they don't care about all that much. Hey Sipsy, how you doing? We're definitely uh, still alive. Definitely didn't die in Act 2 yet. It's the small things. He's a that guy, thanks for the seven months. I'll go boom -o show to you. You know, Defragment Plus is a pretty good card. You know? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna click on that. We have a couple of potions, and we even have orange pellets for the collector fight, so this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna run to the bathroom before I get into this act boss fight now. Sean, thanks for the two months. I'm gonna show to you as well. The simplest form. I think it's time to start upgrading defensive cards. Like Steam Barrier upgrade, Boot Sequence upgrade, stuff like this. Steam Barrier upgrade makes us a good amount of block, I think. Given that it's coming back with all for one. Creative AI we like usually just don't play. Unless we got a fourth energy, maybe in some fights in Act 3 it becomes good. The ability to change size might be helpful for some illicit activities. Hmm. Hmm. Took a boot sequence before Pyramid. In 1862, chess rules were updated to not let you promote pawns to pieces of the opposite color. Fascinating. I just played both of my AoE cards before the... AOE minions were there. <laughs> it's an interesting decision, I don't know. I 
think you'll end up being fine. It will end up with a power to cleanse the debuffs with, which is sort of the biggest thing in this fight, I think. Does Spoon turn into a high priority relic if you have apparitions? Maybe? Depends what else is going on, I think. I also get an extra energy next turn. This is great. This is great. We don't want to draw another card so we don't play a defend here. Boot saved us. Ooh. Have I ever learned or played Richie Mahjong? I have not. The answer is no. One attack. One power. One skill. And then about a gazillion other attacks. Do I hold on to claws? Nah. Shimpfumpf! Thanks for the 22 months. Longabomo show to you too. You are heard. Tier 3 Dan, thanks for the year. Uncle Bomo show to you as well. Hope life is treating you well. So I'll wait a turn for Sunflower. Don't believe we took damage in that fight. Seek seems quite good. Seek lets us get... A lot of the time we're just going to get like Defrag or Buffer. Let's us get all for one if we want that for some reason. I'm not sure when we would really want that. It's a good card though. I was asked to be on the Northern Lion Superstars, would I consider it? Uh, I'd consider it for sure. I like hanging out with people and playing games. Foreign Freak thinks the 10 months, Songbo Mushu to you as well. Yeah, we just take Secure. Can we just take Inserter? I feel like we can just take Inserter. How much does energy matter right now? A little bit, right? But not that much. This deck gets a lot of output for not very much energy in general. Inserter makes the Act 3 boss fights completely free. It's not very good in the Act 4 elite fight. And against the heart, it is, I would say, okay. Yeah, I think it's okay against the heart. Better than a fourth energy? 
maybe. It depends also if we get like an echo form or another capacitor, how good it is. Because we can already get six orb slots, right? Consume could make it really good. We only have four focus, which is like decent, but it's not enough to win the game on its own. Consume is a skill. Why inserter? Because it just ensures that we have the scaling for the late game fights. And I think we're in pretty good shape for everything else already. Inserter like makes giant head a free fight in a way that the other two relics don't. Stuff like that. One of the other two relics might be better against Reptomancer. I'm not even sure that that's true, though. The only thing that we really have that we could spend energy on is creative AI. Like, the other stuff we were already successfully playing. Got a lot of zero-cost cards, got a lot of one-cost cards, got a happy flower for extra energy. And we can, like, add a recycle or a turbo or something. Not like we have to get the rest of our energy out of a boss relic here. If you think about these as card equivalents, it's like trying to work out if you are going to add a significantly better version of Capacitor or a somewhat better version of Turbo. But like, honestly, Turbo's... It's not even clear that Turbo is worse than uh, Slaver's Collar here. It works in hallway fights. What's the tournament rule if you promote a pawn but don't have a piece to replace it with? How does that work in chess? I guess in tournaments they have extra pieces on hand or whatever. Maybe. Hey, Steve Williams. Upside down rook if available. Yeah, I've played that too, but what if there's no rook either? Like, what if there actually just are not any pieces available? Like, you only own one chess set and it's... All of the pieces in it are on the board right now sort of thing. <laughs> you remove a shoe. I love that. Defeat your opponent using your shoe. God, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm sure that's not the true rule or anything, but I want it to be. Is it possible to promote a pawn without removing any pieces from the board? You could remove only your opponent's pieces, which would mean that there would be none of your pieces to use. You could also be playing a game where you gave your opponent piece odds, I guess, and then it would be possible to promote without removing anything. Do I ever play Slay the Spire off stream? Um, I feel like not often, but sometimes. Played my mod character off stream a little bit. Um, what else have I done? 
I've done like over explained runs where I record content off stream and put them up on YouTube. What are peace odds? P I E C E. Like a way of handicapping. How to kill a boss in one turn. Uh, generally, you try to set up some sort of infinite to do that with, I think. So. <laughs> I don't know what the simplest example of a turn one infinite is, really. But generally, that's how I'd do it. What media am I currently consuming in my spare time? I just finished uh, Hunters on Prime. I don't know if I'd recommend the series. Episode 10 was like fucking wild though. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Nothing super incredible. Battle Trance into Fiendfire with Anger left and a top. Battle Trance stops you from drawing more cards in a turn, but sure, something like that. If you took out the things that don't work and only left the things that do work, something like that would work. I think we just take another defragment. I am a simple Jorbs. I see inserter, I see defragment. I click on defragment, I think. We're not taking another claw at the moment. It doesn't really look like we're killing the heart with claws. It looks like we're killing the heart with... Um, orbs. Maybe be thinking about Happy Flower and Inserter here. We just want to kill next turn, right? It's not actually that complicated. Press end turn now. Sure. Barrage is fun. I don't think we need a card that deals a bunch of damage on turn 5. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we do need that. Way to have Akabeko. <sighs> Probably like never happens, right? I wonder if it's good against Reptomancer. Could be. Could be okay. I think with the Fire Potion I am strong enough against Reptomancer to go this way. I could also go this way if I think that Reptomancer kills me, but I don't think... I don't think we're in that much trouble in that fight. How do I feel about the Watcher? She's okay. She's fine. Only ways to fill orb slots or attacks. But chill. I don't think Barrage at Quebecco for 9 is like a thing that happens really. 
But I do think Barrage at Quebeco for like two happens sometimes. And that's enough to kill a dagger. And then Barrage for nine without at Quebeco happens at the end of fights. And that's like... It's enough damage to be worth thinking about taking the card for. The only way I have to channel a Lightning Orb is Zap Plus. And then I only have a Dark Orb from Doom and Gloom other than that for damage. Right? I don't have Static Discharge, I don't have a Ball Lightning, I don't have Electrodynamics. I think Barrage Plus is okay here. I have Claw for damage. Yeah. I'm not sure that Claw kills the heart by itself in a 30 card deck. WBA Jack. Thanks for the 31 months. Agabomo show to you as well. Would I take Rainbow right now on this deck? I would think really hard if I was offered Rainbow. I'm not sure I would take it. Seems okay. That hit pretty hard. I don't know. I need more claws. See, adding a Barrage Plus to the deck makes it deal more damage than adding a Claw to the deck does right now, though. So why would I add a Claw to the deck over a Barrage Plus? Music shouldn't be higher than normal at the moment. Because that's what heroes do. I'm not the hero of this story, Twitch chat. That's not me at all. TBK Torzy! Thanks for the eight months. Jacques? Not sure who you mean. Hmm. Can take a late self repair or a late recursion. I actually have good upgrades. I have a defrag to upgrade. I don't know. How good is a recursion upgrade here? It's not that good. Self repair seems okay. Not incredible. Not incredible. I'll take a recursion. It's another card from a toolbox or whatever. I'm actually wondering if going this way is just better than going this way anyway. Recursion upgrades very good. Defrag upgrades very good. I wouldn't hate resting. Don't have a lot of sustain. Don't have any sustain. I do have a wing boots charge. Doesn't even like do anything in this act though. I guess once we get to here if we're healthy we can take another elite fight. If we're healthy and wanting another elite fight. Let's kill an elite. Let's kill an elite. Let's do it. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Um, emphatic error. Thanks for the three months. I'm to show to you as well. I think I lose seek here. I 
Goodbye, Seek. Weak potion for nine health. How much HP would I give for that seek if offered? Oh, I have no idea. That's a uh... It's uh, not a trade that you ever got offered, really, so I'm not sure. It's better to play Defend than Defragment, right? Who's laughing about boot now? A bunch of people in Twitch chat like bullied boot in middle school and now they're like seeing it pop off and feeling really uncomfortable. Like it's coming for them next. You shouldn't bully people. That's like the main lesson. Just don't do that. Vermilius thinks about 13 months. Bomo show to you as well. I tried out MTG Arena. Yeah, I've played a little bit of MTG Arena. Well, I'm thinking maybe Consume Plus is good here. I don't know though. I'd take all three of these. Jova Black Ops. Thanks for that Twitch Prime. Hogbomo show to you as well. Probably skip. We could skip, I guess. <laughs> Skipping's a very aggressive approach to this card reward. Toast. The boot. <laughs> the actual boot. I think the boot like dropped off the grid for five years or something when then traded in the forest. Now it's back, back with a vengeance. You just didn't used to see that sort of output from the boot. But it seems different this run. There's like an intensity to it that I'm not used to. Looking forward to skipping Mummified Hand because I took it in Act 1. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna feel really good. <laughs> uh. 
Hey, I appreciate the Twitch Prime very much. Thank you for that. Helps the channel keep being a channel. Hmm. These cards aren't completely ridiculous to take. Doom and Goom Plus in particular seems very good against Reptomancer. But maybe with Attack Potion and Fire Potion, we're already okay against Reptomancer. Girth Birth! Thanks for the five months on Bomo Show to you as well. Will we ever play Creative AI? Maybe? There's a decent chance that we don't. Hey, Wild Goose, thanks for the three months. Mangobomo showed you too. Beam Cell's not completely unreasonable. The thing it does against the heart is more um, remove artifact stacks so that I can keep weakening the heart. I think that's more what it does against the heart than uh, actually deal damage. Napo links the 11 months. Mangobomo showed you too. Yeah, I think with our potions. Ooh. Uh, loop, maybe? Honestly, not 100% sure. It is a weakened one first, that's funny. <laughs> Could just be another consume. Seems a little bit slow. Too bad I lost that seat call. I'd rather just have a, another defrag than another consume. Defrag better than loop right now. Sometimes. Maybe usually. I don't know, loop's pretty good. I think loop is better. Bernard, thanks very much for the 23 months. Ogbomo show to you too. Huh. Interesting spot. I would love a turbo.
Eh? Can't really take damage anymore. Gotta work out how to win the fight. Slowly. Slowly, surely. This is how a life is taken. Alright, our relics are on a decent number. Not an incredible reinforced body. It's an okay cool headed. And it's an okay FTL. You wouldn't say it's incredible, but it's certainly not bad. I have one, two, three. I only have three frost orbs. I think I probably have to take the cool headed here. Just need one more frost orb that I can make. I think we recall here so that we can rest if the elite fight goes poorly. Okay, no Reptomancer. We like no Reptomancer. This fight should just win itself. The orbs should just win without really needing to do anything. Uh-oh, I had to do like one thing. Okay, well, I did it. Gordian Games. So now the question is, we win this fight, we have 55 health left. Do we use our wing boots charge for another elite fight when it's rep the or half the time? Uh, with these potions? I didn't get mind bloom yet. The fact that I didn't get Mind Bloom yet means that the question mark's decent. Our deck's really slow, huh? Don't know if we're fast enough for the heart fight. equals more boot value. <laughs> Possibly true. We already saw calipers in a store. Eternal Feather, Steam Barrier, Recursion Plus. I think Recursion Plus is a little bit better. Both are good. Um, 
With Eternal Feather, I think we're more inclined to go to an Elite. All right, Reptomancer, don't kill me, please. Probably use Attack Potion next turn. Plan was always going to be to use all of the potions in the Reptomancer fight if we got it, so that's fine. Hmm. What that potion is sort of matters a lot. I think what I'm going to do is keep my Akabeko for next turn. So that if the potion gives me an AoE attack, I can use Akabeko in an area of effect sort of way. Sweeping Beam is here too. I could also just Sweeping Beam in an AoE sort of way. I also sort of like already blocked for all of the incoming damage just by doing that. Um, hmm. Maybe I don't need to potion here. Sweeping Beam, Claw, Cold Snap, Barrage. Let's go Sweeping Beam to start, see what we draw. Thirty-two, fifty-seven, sixty-six incoming. We're blocking for sixty-five already. The boot. Motherfucking Boot. Boot has just tossed us on its back and carried the entire run for us. What a crazy relic. Reptomancer is still quite grumpy. They have a lot of block though. I think I can just full block next turn. I think it's not actually even very close. Hey, tiniest little dot. I could have played Recursion or something. I guess I stopped thinking already in this fight. <laughs> oh, these guys matter much. Probably like Happy Flower on one and Surdor on one is ideal. I don't know if we're gonna set that up successfully. Probably doesn't matter that much. Thanks for the bits, Estol. Which character do I have the highest chance to beat the heart with? Probably the Watcher right now, maybe? I don't know. Can I just start pressing unturn? Like, do I have to do anything? Clicking stuff is just... it's a lot of work. I didn't choose to be a streamer because I loved doing work. Is Creative AI not good with Runic Pyramid? It's just going to um, clog my hand with cards that I can't actually afford to play a lot of the time. Like, take these wounds, then add like two Hello Worlds 
to the party and you start to see what the problem is, maybe. Damn. Left my relics on the worst possible numbers. Oh well. Couldn't I have gotten self-repair? Um, creative AI cannot generate self-repair. You cannot generate cards which heal you from random card things in this game. I think we always take Recycle gear. Chill's okay though. What a turn one. <laughs> what a turn one. I think we go boot sequence, steam barrier. Recursion, maybe? Save these potions for Act 4 Elite Fight. If we can get away with it, we can probably get away with it. It's going okay, I am the suffering. Already one, right? Just over. Cool. Would I jump from first floor for no reason? Like from the first floor of a building? There was a phase in my life when I jumped off things for no reason. I sprained my ankle once and then I stopped doing it. I think it's a very human thing to do though, jumping off shit for no reason. Awakened one, you're so angry. being a human a thing to do a reason. Yeah, I guess so. You might be onto something there. Okay, this fight is over. Can't take damage. Just a matter of... 
patiently waiting until we accidentally kill the enemy somehow. Claw carrying this fight. That's basically just what's happened in the run now. This has just been a claw hard carry run. We locked in claw at the whale. And the rest of the team was like, oh, fucking claw should have banned that. But then boom, game over. Went even in lane and our jungler defragment just uh, killed the other team like 500 times. Easiest promotion of my life. Consume as the top laner. Consume like showed up two thirds of the way through the game. None of us had seen it before. Just like absolutely obliterated one of the team fights. Oh cool, you're on our team. That's fun. <laughs> oh, League is a... Uh... League is like an ex or something. Like, I remember the good parts of the relationship fondly sometimes, and if I think harder about it, I'm like, ooh, yeah, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, good turn one. Our turn ones don't seem to be great. Something I've noticed. Feels the same for you, except you're still seeing the X sometimes. Oh no. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. Best way to build a block with Watcher. Talk to the hand, wallop, uh, probably some other ones. There's a bunch of stuff like, like water and uh, what's the one that gives you block when you change stances? There's that one. Some pretty decent uncommon powers that give you block. You see the X on Facebook and the LCS on the weekends. Wave of the hand is very good, yeah. Holt is good too. Holt's a good one. Unterser we on mass. Hello. Glad you could catch a stream too. We want this on one, we want this on one probably. I'm not sure that it matters that much. Claw 
cloak class certainly blocks for a lot too. That's the truth. Gosh, the lake have already won the Act 3 boss fight, but it's gonna take another five minutes. Sort of mode of my existence is really pleasant. It's just super chill. I'm just hanging out. How's it going, time meter? What is the card I get most excited to see? I have no idea. Twitch chat would tell you. Happy Flower is not on the right number, but Inserter is. I don't know. I'll take it. I'm glad that people have been watching the channel long enough now that I can just uh, delegate answering common questions to you all. I don't have to do it anymore. I don't even have to remember the answer. I just, <laughs> just expect you to. It's great. Chill makes a couple of uh, frost orbs early against the Act 4 elite fight. That could be good. Boot sequence gives us more block early against the Act 4 elite fight. That could also be good. Also gives us block early against the heart. Against the heart, we get to draw lots of cards pretty quickly with Centennial Puzzle. And we get to get rid of the debuffs with bias. Uh, orange pellets is what this is called. If we get into the heart fight with like 30 health left, I will feel okay. We don't need to do that well in the Act 4 Elite fight. I think this deck is quite good against the heart. Yeah, I don't know. We have used Creative AI to give us three energy with Recycle a couple of times. I don't think dual cast upgrade does very much here. I don't think we're good enough at channeling orbs to want to evoke them that much. I like this. I like block in the Act 4 Elite fight for turn two. Echo form. I am quite regularly not going to be able to play that. Shit, I don't know. That's tough. If we draw it at the right time, it's great. Otherwise, not so great. I don't know if we actually want turbo right now. Maybe if I bought Echo Farm, I would start to want turbo all of a sudden. And of Greed would be very good here. 50 gold next fight. Why don't we just have Twitch chat play the runs? What do you even need me? I couldn't have thought of that on my own. I think I buy the Echo form. It's too bad we lost Seek. I think with how the run played out, losing all for one was actually better than losing Seek. And I think that might be the norm based on where we were at, actually. So... Maybe that was me screwing up. Shit, do I really want Echo Form? Like, really? Gosh. What about defensive potions? The thing is, my like attack potions sort of are defensive potions a little bit for the Act 4 elite fight. Sort of, not really. A little bit. Okay. 
how did I not draw Echo Form turn one? What the actual fuck? Scrape seems good. Yeah, this is unfortunate. Guess it could have been worse. Horncleat did some good work here. more damage than I wanted. It's just too bad. I just drew very poorly in this fight. So we have 16 health against the heart, huh? It's not impossible. Possible. What I want these numbers on. I actually like to end the fight this turn.
I could with Fire Potion. Wait, maybe I don't want Happy Flower on this number, though. I think I don't actually want Happy Flower on this number, so I don't want to end the fight this turn. I want Happy Flower on... One, I think. So I want to kill next turn. I was going to have a 99 shield. So I guess I'd kill the turn after next then. Or like... We wait, is the point. And keep waiting. Keep waiting. Hey, I like Kaluski. Thanks for the six months. Keep waiting. We wait two more turns. We kill next turn, but it has a 99 shield again. <laughs> oh my god. God, please. So I'll kill it next turn. <sighs> Don't think I want any of these. Like, double energy is sort of cute, but... Don't think I need it. All right, we want to draw buffer early. We want to draw. We want to draw everything early. I think I play defrag and draw cards. We wait on this defrag until next turn. Play Cold Snap now. Come play this. <sighs> Do I wait on this defrag until next turn? I have extra energy and 14 block from Hornclade next turn. Probably better. Do I play Sweeping Beam right now? Do I play Barrage right now? Is it worth two health to draw one more card? Feels like it might be. Tough question. I could also play boot sequence at this point and then like play quite a lot of stuff. Could even use recycle this turn if I wanted to. Let's go barrage cold snap. Okay. Turn looks okay. I want to be able to survive next turn as well, though. Defrag, chill, claw to start. Play the other defrag. 
and two defense. Does that fully block? 16, 22. I take two. Feels like it's worth it though. It's the Bitsy Stall. Taking two. I have Recycle in my hand. I could place Sweeping Beam. And I could take one, and I could get Sweeping Beam out of my hand. And I could go Sweeping Beam, defend the Steam Barrier. I do like... Meh. I like having the Boot Sequence and the Steam Barrier next turn, I think. Alright, there's a Void in our deck. There's an Echo Farm in our deck, which we probably won't be able to play if we draw it here. Twenty-two, thirty, forty, forty-five. But we play five cards, so thirty-five block. I think I'm dead unless sweeping beam hits. Oh fuck. This is 8, 14, 17. This blocks for 4 effectively. 21, 37, plus 8. I have exactly enough block to die. I am facing exact lethal. I play boot sequence or steam barrier first. I have hits. I have buffer. Um, is all for one a hit? I think all for one is not a hit. Recursion's not a hit. I have a lot of misses. <laughs> I have more misses than hits. Akron links to the seven months. Angbomu show to you as well. Cold snaps ahead, right? All right, sixteen twenty six, twenty four, rather. Oh, let's count the block we already have. So 20, 28, 34, 37. If I consumed right now and then played boot sequence, I would have 10 block plus these would be 32. And then if I recycle, Slime and play Cold Snap. Then that's me another seven, which puts me at two. <sighs> two seems like plenty. I like that I get rid of a lightning orb there as well. <laughs> the other line is... Defend Cold Snap, right? 
which keeps your cycle. 15, 21, 29, 37. No, that dies. So we go consume or cycle slimed cold snap. Go to two. What a fucking tragedy. I don't know if I play defend Claw Claw here or not. Still have decent hits. I think I need to be able to draw cards, right? I only get to claw once. That's okay. This still leaves me with space in hand. to hit again? You can go defend all for one, maybe? Defend all for one tries to get back four cards. One of them's recycle. If I hit recycle, I feel like I'm in okay shape. Twitch chat, a lot of you are backseating right now, and it's not helpful. I don't want to, like, take time to time you all out, but it's not helpful or really wanted. Two claws, steam barrier plus, and recycle plus. So the question is, does defend cool-headed have a better chance to win than defend all for one? Defend cool-headed is a little bit easier to work out. Defend Cool Headed has to hit Recursion. Exactly. There are two of them now, so it's a one and six. Defend All for One gets back three cards. If we get back Claw Claw Recycle, I have to recycle like Creative AI and then I can't play another card. So we have to get Steam Barrier, and if it's Steam Barrier Claw Claw, we die. So I have to get back Steam Barrier and Recycle in that line. Which means that lion works 50% of the time, so you have to go defend all for one. Is Steam Barrier Recycle enough? When I Steam Barrier, I go to 6 block, 
four block plus cool headed two. That actually might not be enough. Steambar is blocking for seven, right? So I'm at one block, zero energy. Go to six block, go to four block with three energy. I have two block and 44 block and orbs at the end. So it does work, it leaves me on one. Can I win next turn? Or can I survive next turn, rather? I'm not sure I can survive next turn in that line. Blazar, thanks for the 33 months. Mongabomusho to you as well. Might not win in either line. Oh wait, I think I had it at 45, but it's actually at 47 when I calculated the all for one line. I think I just have to go defend cool headed and hit recursion. And then I have to hit recursion again next turn. I wonder if I shouldn't have picked up Symbiotic Virus. There's a decent chance that I shouldn't have picked up Symbiotic Virus. Oh well. Oh wait, Zap works too. The out we didn't even realize we had. This goes to 57 at the moment, which means I can afford to play a claw, which is worth it to get it out of hand. Recursion's really good here. I still have too much shit in my hand though. So go for the eyes cannot weaken this turn. I can't play it enough times for that. I get to always start with recursion, right? That's never, never wrong. And then I'm getting three cards back with all for one. But I could play go for the eyes and get four cards back. And the only problem is that like one of them can be go for the eyes and it costs me two health. There are currently six cards there. So with recursion, it will be seven. It would be cool if, like, just playing Buffer survived the turn, but it doesn't. Looks like we probably just die this turn. Hawk. If dual cast was upgraded, that'd be a big thing.
What's the best case? We go recursion, all for one, recursion steam barrier. And recycle buffer. Recursion, all for one, recursion, steam barrier, recycle buffer. It's seven cards. So we have to block for 74. Buffer blocks for eight, so 66. 58, 38. Five, Steam Barrier gets us there. But I think we have to hit Steam Barrier and Recursion. I don't think we actually have to hit Recycle. I think we have to hit Steam Barrier and Recursion. If I were to play Go for the Eyes right now, well, not right now, after I play Recursion. I get one more slot in hand to draw a card into. But I take two more damage. Recursion, recursion, 28 plus 33. I can count the burn, I don't think. Thirty-one, sixty-one. Shall work out if I play Go for the Eyes before All for One at the moment. So recursion, recursion, steam barrier, recycle. It's twenty-eight thirty-five plus four forty-one plus these seventy-four. Steam Barrier, Recursion, Recursion, Recycle, Buffer, all for one. Burn. I don't get to play Go for the Eyes. Yeah, it's really fucking hard to win here, then. It's uh, incredibly, incredibly difficult. Have to gain 17 blocks somehow from gear. Five plus fourteen is nineteen. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. Sam Dog thinks we Twitch Prime. I'll go and we should use well. You don't understand how asking about the board state is backseating. Do you understand that I'm currently, like, have been trying to calculate this turn for 10 to 15 minutes, and, like, I'm using the chat to talk to other people while I'm doing that, and if you're, like, asking me to, like, <laughs> have limited mental capacity here.
Okay. So if we go loop, go for the eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, five. We got five cards back. We have eight block at that point. We have six block. Meaning we have 37, meaning we need another 23. This is 12. And this is five. So I can only make 17 block out of all for one, right? How much can I make out of all for one? 12 and five, 17. I can only make 17 block out of all for one. Oh, am I just dead then? I don't know. I wasn't counting recycle on buffer. Yeah, I have to hit everything perfect off this. I got really close. Really close. Just needed one of those cards to be something different. Oof. Close run. GG. the bitsy stall. So not picking up symbiotic virus might have been an improvement. You get into weird spots with these decks where you take claws early because you have so many bad cards. And we sort of just didn't draw the good cards early. We didn't draw loot plus early. We didn't draw recursions early. That killed us. Oh well. We win that fight a lot of the time.